Hello, you guys. So I am currently here doing an at-home manicure, not by choice, but because tomorrow we leave for Vegas, me and the Ryans. Oh my God, it's, it's really going to be me and the Ryans. As I'm saying this, I'm like, it's developing in my brain. Me and the Ryans are going to be going to Vegas. It's too late to Amazon Prime anything, like any press-ons that I usually do. So I am going to be doing the thing that... Honestly, one of the things that I loathe the most, I absolutely dislike doing my own nails. I'm super bad at it. That and coloring, I can't do. It just gets everywhere. Like the part of like having to sit still and then like letting it dry. I don't think I've ever successfully done a like a set of nails and actually not had like a smudge or a mess hat. So I need to do the Q&A with you guys right now because I'm getting ready to go to Vegas and then after Vegas, so much is happening and I will catch you up with everything, but first, hi. Yes, yes, I am stalling because I don't want to do my nails. Like I'm out here just like chatting with you, sipping, and I'm like, I don't want to do my nails. Like I just, I really don't want to do this. But this is why we're combining something I like doing, which is chatting with you guys and doing this. So it'll just be mindless. It'll be mindless. Okay. Let me do the first nail so I can be like, okay, we started. We started. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. It's so much easier to do this hand because I am right-handed, so this is easy, but when we get to the other one, it's not good. I have, I have super shaky hands, you will see very soon when I have to switch hands. Okay, so I have a couple of questions to answer from you guys, which thank you guys so much for submitting questions. Without further ado, and my first painted pinky, let me read the first question. Also, look at my case. It's so cute. I just got it. It has little gummy bears and every person I see comes up to it and like wants to touch it. It in fact is hard, so it's not squishy. I wish it was, but just know. What do you do for work and on a day-to-day -day basis? Okay, that was a question that I got lots and lots. Right, so I am a freelancer, freelance doing social media and marketing, create their content, I'll help schedule their content, I'll help edit their videos, their short forms, their reels. I even help with email marketing campaigns and sometimes I help write copy for the newsletter that actually goes within it as well as sometimes like on their website. Really related to marketing and online and I also edit the reels for 20 whatever podcast. Make sure to check it out, shameless plug. I work on the podcast. Lots and lots of social media and lots and lots of marketing. Where are your fave places to shop? You have the best style. You are so sweet for saying that because I was just telling to myself, girl, what are we doing fashion wise? Like, do you know? And I think that I don't know. <laughs> Truthfully, I like to shop at like so many different places that I can't even say like, oh, this is my favorite place. Everywhere that's popular, like Zara, shop at Fashion Nova. I'll get stuff on Amazon. Honestly, I'll just see like a cute thing and I'm like, perfect. I don't have like a set store or a set style or a set um anything. So I actually want to ask you guys if you have any places, where do we shop? I don't know. So let's discuss. That's going to be um an ongoing conversation. Favorite role that you've ever played? Okay. It's between Wednesday and Elle. And I love Wednesday so much because I've played her more than once. So like, I just feel like she's a part of me type deal. Like I just like always could just like click into that character and I would love to play her again. But playing Elle was a different type of experience that is so unmatched. I love Elle as a character, but playing L in itself was so emotionally, spiritually, physically demanding. When I think back at it, I'm like, wow, like young P, like you did that, like kind of vibe. Like I'm just really proud of that. And so I think that that had to be my favorite role that I've ever done. How has your life changed since the podcast and posting online? Um, hmm. I think that it has changed in the way I allow others to affect me. For example, before the comments and like the words and things like that that people would say to me in just like general life had more weight to it. And since since posting, I've had to realize for the first time I caught myself being like, okay, you know who you are and you need to be strong in that. So if and when anything comes your way that you that like hurts your feelings or something said, 
you are not going to take it personally because you know who you are and you know what you stand for and I never had to like prep myself for that I think I kind of was just always like allowing kind of caring about what people thought I'm not saying that I don't now like I'm actively like Trust me, I care, it hurts my feelings when there's mean comments. But I try not to let it affect me, right? Like, I'm only human and obviously it will hurt my feelings, but I'm not gonna let it consume me and acknowledge that and just like move on. It has nothing to do with you and you know what? It says more about that person than it does about you. And that also ties in a couple questions that I got uh, of how do you deal with online hate? Just knowing that it's not about you, like it really isn't. Acknowledge that and just like move on. And I realize I've been sitting here and chatting with you guys for like a hot minute and not painting my nails, haven't I? First hand done. Whoop, whoop. I'm not gonna get too close because it is not that cute. <laughs> mm. Should we read one of the ones from the anonymous one so that it's like a little bit spicier? Let's take a Okay, the first one. Your biggest insecurity. Uh huh huh huh. Funny you ask. Funny you ask. It's not funny you ask, actually. Um, my biggest insecurity um, is my skin. I get really bad hormonal cystic acne like all down here. And I struggle a lot with like this area just like in addition to the cystic hormonal acne. It just kind of it's like the week before my period. So then like my whole face breaks out and then it's during my period. It's obviously not good. And then the whole week after it's like trying to recover. But then guess what? Surprise. And in one more week, you're going to have a period again. So it's like a never ending cycle of just like a lot of painful acne down here. And I have tried a lot of different things and I think it's time that I go see like a dermatologist or something because I've avoided it for a long time because I didn't want them to give me steroids or any sort of like drug or anything like that because I tried figuring it out like naturally with like ginger and to this place to check out my hormonal balances and gave blood so they could see what I was if I was allergic to something or whatever like I've done like lots of stuff so it's just like okay maybe it's time I actually just like get on that steroid what's it called? Accutane or something like that. It just feels like a place of where it's like, oh, it's not that bad to like get on like a hard steroid, but it's like bad because I want to hide my skin and I don't want people to look at me. So like obviously if I'm feeling that way, probably should fix it. Really hoping to find the solution for it soon because being on camera, I've like gotten insecure about it too. But I'm like, okay, well it's okay because that's your skin. Like that's the reality of it. <laughs> You know, just talking ourselves through it every single day. So yeah, okay, thank you. Right, so let's get back to the other ones that are not as scary. Favorite food dish, okay. First thing I wanna say is like tacos. Tacos al pastor, tacos de asada, con todo. Cilantro, cebolla, the salsa, and like some grilled onions on the side. Oh, or like a vampiro when they make it grilled and there's melted cheese on it. Oh Jesus, yeah, that. Can you please vlog more? You are so sweet. I love you. Doing my YouTube is one of my many side hustles. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have a lot of jobs. But yes, I promise to vlog more. Yes. Yes. What part of Mexico is your family from? Family is from Guadalajara as well as Michoacan. Family in both. And in Michoacan, there is a little town called Tocumbo, if you know it. Te amo. Favorite alcoholic drink? Um... Tequila with anything, basically. Tequila is queen, superior, but like, ooh, tequila with, ooh, that's what I want. Tequila and squirt. That shit slaps. What kind of content gives you the most joy to make? I think... Oh my gosh, I'm literally just sitting here talking to you without doing my nails. <laughs> See? Doing it, oh my gosh gosh you guys oh my gosh what was the question at hand what kind of content gives you the most joy to make okay it's a very good question and one that i'm actually trying to solve myself i want to do more youtube what can i be doing she loves to cook she loves cooking for you guys and showing you that and i love traveling i love showing you all that stuff like, it is the best time bringing you guys along with stuff that i'm experiencing the cool little stuff in the behind the scenes like i love that but I also feel like I, a part of me loves when it's like written, like it's a skit or like a little dance or like a song, like when we're singing and doing stuff like that, it's so much
much fun. Like I think that that gives me the most joy, which is a whole thing in itself. I am like scared to sing and dance and perform online. I'm quoting because how could I say that because I'm a performer and I'm entertainer and how can I say I love doing that if I'm like scared to do it? But like I kind of got to the thought of like, wow, you like really got out of it. Just saying that really hurt my own feelings. Like how can you say that like you got out of theater? And let me give you a little bit of background. Right before the pandemic hit, I was in a musical, Carrie, the musical, you know, when they dropped the pig's blood, that was my job. Well, and we had like sold out shows and the day before we opened, they were like, okay, shut everything down. So, I promised myself that I'm going to put an effort into start auditioning and really getting back into that scene again because it is what truly makes me feel so alive. I don't know what I'm so fearful of like going back and auditioning or like going back into a class or doing things like that. Like, I don't know, I could not tell you. Maybe I think I'm not good enough. Oh God, not the not good enough. Even mentioning it to you guys like freaks me out. Like saying like, I wanna start auditioning again because then there's that expectation that hopefully I get in a show and nobody even talks about how hard it is to like book anything to begin with. But um, I am going to be taking like vocal lessons getting back into acting classes, starting to audition. Um, so, ah! We should do another one of the spicy ones. I like these anonymous ones. Okay. Do you wish that your boyfriend would have proposed to you by now? <laughs> I'm, first of all, gagged that you asked that. How nosy. Drama, like you asking that. No drama about it, but it's just dramatic that you would ask, you know, like. Who asks that? Um, you want the tea. Um, do I wish that my boyfriend proposed? No. Um, my boyfriend and I are like in open communication and know what we want and how we want to plan things to go, you know? I still have a couple more things to do before I can become someone's wife, but I very much love him. Actually, why? Don dun dun dun. Breaking news. Boy Ryan and I are moving in together, just the two of us. That is gonna be a nice step um, for us and growing. I like, can just feel it in my heart that we are like exactly where we need to be at. Just right. No, you guys, the way, look, look, look. Ew, when I do my nails, I always mess up and I was done. I just needed this one more. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna paint over it and then I'm gonna like go in later and just like clean up this all up. I'll answer one more question of the anonymous as I paint this one that I messed up, gosh. Do you secretly wish you lived with your boyfriend only and not your best friend? <laughs> Ryan, did you submit this? <laughs> exactly what's happening. I am moving without girl Ryan and I'm moving in with boy Ryan, which like so sad, like I'm gonna cry. Like that's like a whole other thing. I. The answer to your question is no, I do not secretly wish that I was just living with my boyfriend. Um, I wish that all three of us could continue to live together, unfortunately. Um, lifestyle change, you know, we just gotta go in different directions. We gotta go our own way, but we're still very much best friends and we still very much love each other and you will still see a lot of us together. So don't get it twisted. Um, yeah, everyone's still very much happy healthy and in love and inspired. Um, I just realized I answered that question without painting my nail. Um, I'm making you guys watch me paint this last nail because honestly, I'll probably throw a big enough fit that I wouldn't fix it. So bad. <laughs> We did it. Nope. Thank you guys so much for submitting your questions. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I actually submitted a question saying, don't forget to say subscribe. Yes. Thank you so much for that reminder. Subscribe. I love you guys. All right. Bye. No way.